you were in a Super Bowl commercial. I mean, mm -hmm. was your phone lighting up like crazy on Super Sunday night, <laughs> Francisco? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, a lot of people were texting me, what are you doing here today? What, <laughs> why are you on TV today? Yeah. Well, um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was, my part was easy. I didn't have to read much. I didn't have to stay there for okay. four hours. It was great. It was a very easy, smooth commercial for me. So when I've had longer ones. Okay, I'm sure. So I mean, how did you respond to people saying, "What are you doing on, you know, in a Super Bowl commercial?" Did you respond, "My my owner buy some tickets, buy some tickets." That's it. Buy some tickets. I thought, but you know, the guy who writes my check has ninety billion dollars in his <laughs> ashtray, so he's just spending it on a Super Bowl commercial. I mean, <laughs> buy some tickets. You, yeah. I mean, you must you must love the fact that the owner of the Mets is just uh, just shoveling the money out the door and it, and. Man, it, I, I, you know? I love that that he's putting the same amount of energy into the team that I'm putting. I respect that, you know. And same thing with the front office. When 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 front offices and coaching staff are putting the same amount of energy into the game that players have put in, good things happen. Um, so I'm just I've, I've been very excited since the minute I got here because I knew what was going to happen. I knew what um, the path that we were on, the things that were going to come along um and now it's everyone's seeing it and i'm i'm pumped you know i i got this is my third season here i still got after this one i got eight more seasons so wow i'm happy with that exactly and so uh you've been on a world series team before and that year you were as on fire as anybody's ever been in the postseason uh at the plate francisco are you on a world series team now I think so, but it, it, it's early. But I think I think we got what it takes. You know, I, I think the World Series teams don't start in April, don't start in February. I think they they kind of get built throughout the year. You create some 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 memories. You you create a bond with your teammates, and and then all of a sudden you roll into the trading deadline, and and then you go into August, September, and that's that's when teams kind of like just find their their um their groove you know that the identity of a team it's usually found like you can tell what we what we stand for in spring training but usually players start believing in it like game 40 60 mm -hmm. that's when players start like ah right, yeah this is who we are this is what we got to do let's get it and getting it is is Otani in July for six hundred million dollars. Is that the it, Francisco? Is that the it that you're referring to? No, it's a different it. <laughs> no, 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 okay. that's, that's not up to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I understand that. That's been established. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.